across the globe, prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Keeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. seconds. city center to strike a big target. Something that will shake up the tranquil little utopia Advent has been building all these years. Secure the designated coordinates and neutralize all hostile contacts. Firebrand will be in the area for your extraction. One five. We have a fix on the target. Move to place the X4 charges at the designated position. The squad is concealed. Well, well, hello. Welcome to XCOM 2. The moment you have been looking forward to that humanity has been dreading. It has arrived. Yes, I'm back in command. And everybody will probably die. Anyway, let's get underway, shall we? Now. You can see this is the new concealment thing, so we can essentially move around and remain concealed and use that as a possibility for ambushing these guys who are in that location. So we need to be careful and we need to give some thought as to how we're going to do this. So it looks like we've got assault rifles all around. Now, let's see, is it worth going around the side? 
Now, I would like to avoid dashing if I possibly can. So, let's see. Let's get one of the people who are slightly closer to there. On my way. So, let's keep him hunkered down for the night. Roger, holding. Let's get the other person. We're going to just go, go, dash go. them over there. So I want to have any kind of visibility for the right side. Now, the left side, we're going to put copy. a person with an assault rifle there. And then we'll put another person... So where can we put them? So they're limited on where they can go. Can we go up high? That would be nice, actually. Let's just go to this point here. On it. Now, what kind of positions do we have up there? Because I like the idea of going up high. Give us visibility over these little sods. Now, if we can set up some kind of ambush, that would be very helpful. So, let's move one of our people up there. And let's move this one to support up there as well. Now, where do we go from there? See, I'm thinking that it might be worth getting one of our people up the top. Because if they can get into there, no, I doubt they'll be able to throw a grenade to that point. That's the only thing. And we've got to be careful because of those sensors. Let's move somebody there, I think. He'll be then able to move that way next turn. And we'll move another person to the right. And we'll put them in Overwatch with my key. You hear that? Yeah, we heard it. So, let's go back to this person. Get them up top. Now, do we have any options for moving? Yes, we do. Oh, that would be really helpful. Because then what we could do is get the rest of the people up onto the top of this building and then move into a sneaky position and then ambush from there. So we could put people down along here. That would be really good, actually, if we can do that. So I think what we'll do is we'll bring this person back to about here. No need to ask twice. And we will move one of these people Ready. to this location. Now... That could be a tricky position. Let's move Roger into that. there. Makes a bit of noise when he lands, but never mind. And let's move... One of our other operatives to there. Move, move, move! Moving ahead. So, this operative can now go upstairs. That's affirmative. Hunker down. Covering. This operative can also go upstairs and hunker down.
in position. Now. Let's get somebody there. Designated coordinates. There we go. These guys make up the bulk of the advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Menace one five, you're near the target position. So they're gonna hunker down. Holden. What I think I'm gonna do is try and do it Hunt. with one person for a grenade and all the rest sitting overwatch. So if we get a kill on all of them, great. If we don't, then we're covered. Now they're starting to move. That could be a problem. It looks like they're on patrol. So it may not be too bad. I'm all over it. Not sure I like how loud they land there, but never mind. Let's get another one. Into... Let's put them there. Double time. We'll keep him hunkered down. Maintaining position. And then we'll bring this one down to here. Got it. Moving. Now what I would like to do <clears throat> is spread the guys and gals along this section here. So we can go to one position Step here. Off. And we can have another one here. Location confirmed. And then let's put Timmy there. Moving on target. And then let's put this one here. Headed there now. Okay, so let's just um, end the, get everyone hunkered down. Standing fast. Hold in position. And hunkered down. Covering. Like so. And let's watch the movement All set. of the forces. All set. Okay, so we're now ready. So, Overwatch. Affirmative, covering now. Overwatch. Affirmative, covering now. Also another Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. And it's Timmy's time to throw the grenade. Here, catch! Catch this, you bastards. Yeah. And there's the Overwatch. Oh, brutal. No longer a threat. That's exactly what we were after. Now, what we're going to have to do is probably get Agathe down there. Now, my concern, obviously, is being outflanked. These guys can all stay up there on that, on that roof. And we need to get Agathe into that position. So let's move her down to there. And these guys can all go straight back into Overwatch. Like that. Okay, so, we're back with Agathe, and she is probably going to have to rush, dash to that location. And these guys, Come get some. back into Overwatch. Come get some. You hear that? Mm-hmm. We hear it all right. Oh, looks like that's broken. Okay, so let's get our girl to deposit... The X4. Had a girl. 
Menace 1 5, X 4 module is armed. Neutralize any remaining hostile contacts. So let's get her back here. Heading there now. And at least put her in Overwatch so she can cover herself. Scanning. In case anybody Come get some. On Overwatch. comes after our girl. Quiet. Did you hear something? Yes, of course we heard something. Okay. Bit of a bug there. Oh, that must be the reinforcements. There we go. I'll get him next time. Looks like we missed. Please don't tell me it's crashed. No. Oh, there's an orifice with a cape, so you know he's serious. more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Okay, so. First things first, let's get our girl back behind solid cover. Roger that. Now, she is going to fire back at these guys. Let's go for the advent officer. Oh, that's a miss. That's a shame. Come on. And the rest will be Overwatch. Overwatch. I'm on it. That's exactly what we want. And he's down. Enemy down. Oh blimey, he's quick. We'll take a pot shot at our girl. Yep, she managed to avoid it. That was close. Yeah, no kidding. They're going to make a push forward. Oh, what's going on here? Whoa. Taking fire. No kidding. So let's go back to our girl here. And let's get her Affirmative. back up the top of the building. Now, Scanning. we'll just... Overwatch. Overwatch the lot. Oh, face plant. Target disabled. Oh, that's a miss. Timmy missed. Not good. No kidding. Right, how are we looking for ammo? We've still got a round of fire to go, so let's do Overwatch, 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 Overwatch. Because he's going to move again. Exactly. And he's down. Good riddance. Area is secure. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Status confirmed. Squad is clear. <laughs> wow, flawless. Who would have thunk it? Good stuff. Good stuff. Not sure about Timmy's haircut, but hey ho. That actually went a lot better than I expected. Come something of a surprise. Looks like, um, what's it? Colonial Marines from Aliens. Now. Let's see. Here comes our little ship. Fine landing. Did something of a learning curve for our new recruits, but they've done a remarkable job, Commander. Look at that. 
multiple kills for everybody. Well, one kill and multiples, so. Oh, what's this? Grenade launcher. Serving as our demolitions experts, the grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Good. This is excellent nose. And she has the ability to fire grenade, launch grenade. Okay. What's this one? Oh, he's a sniper. Oh, she's a sniper. Sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. There we go. Agatha Moreau. She's a shot. Oh, you get squad sight right at the start. Oh, that's lovely. So basically, we can target anybody within the squad mate's sight. So that's the default option. Oh, that's very nice. I like that. Who are we going to recruit? Rookie da... Oh, hello. Operating some of our most advanced equipment. Specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. That's good to know. So, specialist aid protocol. Commander Gremlin, friendly target, grants a defense bonus. Start of the turn. That's good. I like that. And who's the last one? Timmy. What's Timmy going to be? Oh. serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. Wow, Timmy looks badass. Except for the hair, obviously. Looks like a shotgun. There you go, new ability slash. And there's our new ability slash, and you can attack enemy with movement range with your sword. Okay. There we go. And we got a trooper corpse and an officer corpse. That's good. Oh, look at that. Commander to the research labs. Look at that, isn't that lovely? So we got commander's headquarters. Or oh, that's my personal area. Which is kind of slightly sexy, isn't it? And we've got some various areas. We've got engineering, and we let's go to research, see what's going on there. Ooh. Impressive, isn't it? It is, yes. Capable of generating immense power. You're completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here. Oh, good. As well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Ouch. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. Okay. A farewell, Commander. Farewell. There we go. New research. So, modular weapons, hybrid materials, or alien biotech. Hmm. Okay. Let's look at modular weapons. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll okay. Send word when a complete report is available. Oh, I guess we're off to engineering. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from your old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. <laughs> Commander, getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Mm -hmm. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You were probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. 
He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. Oh dear. This entire ship is his life's work. Wow. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but in here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. <laughs> There we go. So, view the inventory. What's that? Ah, oh, what we've got. And you'd be surprised how big of a difference some of these things can make in Ooh, combat. Oh, smoke grenades, flashbangs. Supplies. I can manufacture anything we need in no time. Significant offensive. Oh, want some make kits? Definitely. Let's just build one for the moment. Now, if we build facilities... There's room for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander. But we'll need more engineers to clear out space for construction first. Okay. Commander, I'm going to need more help on the engineering team before I can start clearing out some go. of these other rooms. We should recruit an engineer. Okay. Well, let's go back to the engineering stuff. And what I want to do is build more medikits and cough as well. God damn it. <coughs> so annoying the cough, really is. I do apologize everyone. Anyway, so we got med kits for everyone, which is good. What is the armory? Pickings are slim, but I'm hoping we find a few more recruits who can handle a wrench. I could use the help. So here's Memorial. We've done what we can to honor our fallen soldiers, Commander. We've not it's deceased not much, anyone yet. It gives our people a chance to pay their respects. That wall might become quite full, which alarms me. Um, let's see. We can recruit new soldiers. Excellent. And oh right, we need supplies in order to recruit some of these soldiers. Oh, Sokolova, Svetlana, Billy Brown. So we'll keep hold of it because we need to find out how we get more supplies. It's dark, it's dank, and it's mostly metal. This ship isn't all that different from the old base. What's in command? So here's the XCOM archives, which tells us what. There we go. Soldier customization, propaganda assessment, Advent Network Towers, Central Hub of Alien Psionic Network. So that must be how they communicate. Public historical project historical. Ah, there we go. There's more people here. Establishing contact. Guerrilla operations, autopsies, retaliations. Oh, we can carry bodies as well, which is good. Evac, loot. Loot sounds good. Right, okay, so that's good. All right, okay, that's fair. So, I guess we need to go to command. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry, not to mention the military. And it's mm -hmm. on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Okay. While we prepare for new operations and continue our research, we can pass time by scanning at sites like this one. On your order, we'll start our scans on the surrounding area. Commander, one of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth investigating. Avenger plotting new course. Commander, okay. the Avengers remote scanning capabilities will help us search the area for clues or other resources. It's going to take some time though. 
We've got a lot of ground to cover. Ah, and we get a supply drop every 21 days, so that's kind of like the uh, the old cancer report type stuff. So we need to build up our income generation in this area. So you can see there, Western US and things of that nature. So I'd say that's pretty good. I'd say that's a pretty damn good start as far as I'm concerned. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this first episode of XCOM 2. And we'll be back at you for more very soon. Take care, everyone.